Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Fingerprinting Gurus. My name is Tommy Watkins, your instructor, here to talk about another exciting uh, topic this week. Uh, before I get into the topic, I would like for everyone to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and also that notification button so you can continue to receive content like this each and every week to not only improve your mobile fingerprint uh, business, but your ink card fingerprint business as well. Uh, this week's topic is uh, ink fingerprinting. And what is ink fingerprinting? Well, ink fingerprinting uh, is a process that allows the FBI to run a criminal uh, background check on you. Uh, this information is used to verify your identity and to determine if you're eligible uh, to obtain a license, certificate, or a permit. How does this process work? Uh, well, this process works uh, first by placing your prints onto a FD, uh, FBI 258 card. And with that, your fingerprints uh, are expertly uh, rolled, and which can take about 10 minutes. Uh, when applying uh, to multiple states and you need uh, cars for each location, uh, if the requesting agency provides you with the FD-258 card, be sure to bring uh, them to your appointment. Uh, of course, if, you're, um, if, the, if, the, if the particular entity uh, that don't provide you with an FD-258 uh, card, the agency that's uh, fingerprinting your card or that's going to uh, ink roll uh, print your fingers can provide those cards for you a nominal fee. Um, also, um, how about high quality um, ink prints that get accepted? Um, the first one would be uh, moving and need to get licensed to work in a new state. Uh, the other one would be uh, for teledoctors or telenurses that work out of state. Uh, to meet out-of-state licensing requirements, seeking a carry and concealed gun permit, uh, hoping to get uh, a license uh, to sell services outside your particular area. Um, to get approval, you'll need, of course, uh, to submit an FD-258 uh, card uh, per the agency uh, request and instructions. After the fingerprints are captured, here's what happened next. You'll need to submit an FD-258 card to the proper agency who will forward the FBI, who will then forward that information to the FBI. The FBI will uh, run a criminal background check on you. The, F the FBI will then uh, send the cards to the Department of Justice, known as the DOJ, in the state where you're requesting the license, um, certificate, or permit. The DOJ will then conduct its own background check to verify your eligibility um, there to provide your identity history, some report uh, to the requesting agency. Um, also, um, th those are just some um, of the... Uh, the basics for his ink uh, fingerprinting. Uh, if you have any additional questions in regards to this content, uh, please feel free uh, to hit me up uh, here at the bottom of the uh, page in the comment section. Uh, do Please do hit that like and subscribe button and a notification button so you can continue to receive content uh, like this uh, on, on a weekly uh, basis. Uh, my name is Tommy Watkins of Fingerprinting Gurus, and I look forward to bringing you uh, new and additional content each and every week. Thank you.